Hi friends, thanks for joining us. My name's Adam and this is Jane. Hi! We're so excited to learn about God and his word with you. We're gonna start by singing a song to worship Jesus. But first, do you remember the ways that we can worship? Yes, 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 okay. Um, we can sing. Oh. We can <laughs> clap. We can raise our hands, woo! Or even have a super cool dance party. <laughs> I love worshiping Jesus. Me too. Friends, let's all stand up and get ready to worship together. Jade, what are you doing? Oh, hi Adam. I was, uh, well, I just really wanted some candy. Well, you can have some, but it's for a game we're gonna play later. Well, I kind of want some candy now. But don't you also want some later? Yeah, but can I have it now and later? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Wait, now and later? Something about that sounds strangely familiar. Huh? <gasps> now and later, oh yeah, look, that's the name of the candy. Okay, I brought now and later because that's today's big idea. Today's big idea is candy? <laughs> no, today's big idea is that God's promises are for now and for later. No way, uh, okay, what does that mean? Well, let's watch a Bible story from Genesis to find out, okay? Okay, all right. Okay. It's time for our Bible story. A long time ago, there was a man named Abram. God told Abram to leave his country, his family, and to go to another land. He must have been scared. I'm pretty sure he was. It was something new and different, and he had to leave all that he knew behind. However, God spoke to Abram and told him to not be afraid, because God will protect him and give him good things. Now that Good. It sure does. Among all of the good things God promised him, there was one thing Abram wanted most. What was that? Abram and his wife didn't have any children, so God made him a special promise. Let me guess, a kid? A kid? Not just a kid. God took Abram outside and told him to look up at the stars. In the sky? Yes, in the sky. God promised him that his family will be as many as the stars in the sky. That's a lot of kids. A whole lot. So God made him a very special promise. So 
Did God's promise to Abraham come true? Did he really have as many children and grandchildren as the stars? Yes, but Abraham had to wait until he was 100 years old before he had his promised son, Isaac. Whoa, that's a really long time to wait for God's promise to come true. <laughs> it is a long time, but God's promise was actually true when he first told Abraham. What do you mean by that? Well, God's promises are always true, even when it doesn't seem like it. God's promises are for now and they're for later. Oh yeah, th that's amazing. Yeah. So how can I get a promise from God? Well, the Bible is full of God's promises for us. That's actually what our game is for. Let's use our snapping fingers to snap our game back in, okay? Okay, okay, everyone, let's warm up our snapping fingers and snap on the count of three. Ready? I'm ready. One, two, three! I love snapping fingers and I love candy. So, what's the game? Okay, okay. I'm gonna share three of God's promises from the Bible. Okay. If you think it's a promise for now, you can take a piece of candy. But if you think it's a promise for later, then you have to give me a piece of candy. Okay, okay, I can do this. Okay. I think so too. Friends, you can guess along too. Just shout your answers out if you have them, okay? All right, in Hebrews 13, five, God says, I will never leave you. Uh, well, I, I just started a new school and I don't feel like God's with me when I go because I get really nervous, so uh, that must be a promise for later. Yeah, I'm gonna say later. Well, it is for later, but it's a promise for now too. When you go to school or to a new place, now or in the future, God promises to never leave you. Really? Yeah, so you can get a piece of candy too. <gasps> okay. Wow, I'm gonna remember that promise when I go to school tomorrow. That's a great idea. All right, here's the next one. Psalm 106 verse one says, okay. the Lord is good and his love continues forever. Oh, okay, okay. That must be a promise for now. With all this candy and learning about his promises, I know you must be good. <laughs> That's true, but it's a promise for now and later. God's good all the time. Yeah. And his love is forever, no matter what happens now or in the future. That's a good promise. Here, Adam, you get one too. Thanks. Okay, <laughs> ready? Last one. Okay. Isaiah 9 6 says God promised to send us Jesus. Oh, oh, I know. That's for now and for later. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it was true way before Jesus came to earth. And it's true even after he rose from the grave and returned to heaven. I'm so thankful for God's promises. <laughs> Me too. <laughs>
Here it is, guys. Look, that's me when I'm old, which I don't really know what I look like, but I guessed. There it is. This is this is when we got married. That was a good it's day. Right there. Oh, the one time when I was little, I got really sick for a long time. I didn't feel good. This is the first time I rode a bike. <laughs> look at this little baby Adam there in the corner. <laughs> and at the top, I wrote God's promises are for now and for later as a reminder. Oh, what a brilliant idea. That's Dude. awesome. Thanks. High five. Love learning more about God's promises today. <laughs> Me too. Friends, this week, your challenge is to use your Bible to find at least one promise from God. And remember that God's promises are for now and for later. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, friends. We hope you have a great week and we cannot wait to see you next time. Bye.